Hi there, and welcome to this video on A-level chemistry for the AQA specification, focusing on the topic of bonding, and in particular, on metallic bonding. Hi, I'm Manisha from StudyMind, where we help you to revise A-level chemistry with our helpful revision resources tailored to your subject, your specification, and to you. If you're new here, please make sure to click that subscribe button, and whilst you're watching, please leave any comments down below about anything you're unsure of. If it's your first time watching, make sure to let us know so we can send you our free revision resources. We also have helpful timestamps to guide you through the video. So, let's get started. Welcome to lesson three of seven in this tutorial, metallic bonding. This is the third in our series of seven videos on the topic bonding. In the last lesson, we learnt about covalent bonding in non-metal atoms. We now know about the different types of covalent bonding and how to represent these bonds using arrows and lines. Here are the key learning objectives for this lesson. We'll first look at metallic bonding, and then we will cover ammonium crystal structure. Here are the key learning objectives for this lesson. Pause the video now to have a read through them before we begin. First, we will look at metallic bonding in a lattice. An electron is said to be delocalised. if it is free to move about because it is not involved in a bond. We can see here that these are delocalised electrons. Metals have lots of delocalised electrons. These are said to make up a sea of electrons. This diagram shows the metals and non-metals in the periodic table. Most metals are located in groups 1 to 3 of the periodic table, meaning that they either have 1, 2 or 3 electrons in their outermost shell. Each metal atom loses these electrons to gain a full outer shell of electrons. The electrons will become delocalised into a sea of negative charge. A positive metal ion is formed when a metal atom loses electrons. An example of a positive metal ion is Na plus or Ca2 plus. A metallic bond is the attraction between delocalised electrons and positive ions. A metal consists of lots of positive metal ions and their delocalised electrons. The ions will be packed closely together in a regular arrangement. Let's move on to our next specification point for this section, covering the crystal structures of metals. Iron is a metal that has a giant structure. As we can see here, there is a lattice of positive metal ions in a sea of delocalised electrons, shown here. We've now covered both the learning objectives for this lesson. If you're unsure about anything, feel free to skip back to that section of the video and re-watch it. We have now completed lesson three. If you liked this video, make sure to catch our latest videos by subscribing down below and leaving a comment on a topic that you'd like to see a video on. Click here to watch more videos on our series of A-level chemistry or visit our website, studymind.co.uk for past paper compilations by topic and specification.